What's up, Wizards? This is a clip from a recent live stream where I talked about Valibot, which is a brand new uh, kind of competitor to Zod that just released a few days ago. Enjoy. Okay, let's talk about Valibot. Um, Valibot is basically, it looks like a competitor to Zod. It's been created by this guy, I think who's still maybe in college or university or something, but it's been created kind of as his thesis, essentially. He's come up with this library. The idea of it is that it's basically like Zod, like Yup, like Typebox, fully type safe with static type inference, small bundle size starting at less than 300 bytes, validate everything, right, and it's gives you basically an API like this, which is you import all of the pieces from Valibots here and then you construct these schemas. If you've used Zod before, then like this is ve like exactly the same as Zod. And it also gives you this output type where you can pass the thing in and you get a type back. And it also exports this pass function, right, too. This pass function means you can pass, take a login schema and then just return all the stuff. Now. How can this be possible? How can it be only 300 bytes here? Let's actually take a look at like bundle phobia and let's just see how it handles Valibot and how it handles Zod too. Really, this is the number that you want to be paying attention to when it's minified and gzipped. This is like in total, right? This and with Zod, because of the way it's structured, basically everything comes off this kind of Z dot object. Whereas in Valibot, you actually kind of import the stuff separately. So you have, instead of Z dot email, you have email, min length, object, pass, string. Whereas Zod is basically all sort of attached to the same object, which means it's hard to bundle split here. It's hard to tree shake. Whereas Valibot, if we take a look, Valibot. You can see actually it's only about sort of half the size when it's minified in gzip. So where are they getting this idea of the 300 bytes from? Well, the idea is that you can basically, it's much easier to tree shake. Very, very simple for things to understand. Okay, email is separate from object, which is separate to min length. And with Zod, if you use kind of like dot min or something, it's gonna be grabbing that, pulling it into your project, even if you're not using it. Whereas here, the idea is you only take what you you need. Yeah, here we go. So this is like, this can reduce the bundle size by up to 98% compared to Zod. And there we go. My friend Fabian created me as part of his bachelor thesis at Stuttgart Media University and supervised by Mishko Hevery and Ryan Carniato. Pretty <laughs> decently uh, weighty figures. Mishko is obviously the guy who invented Angular, Ryan Carniato the guy who invented SolidJS. Is it Turing complete? I don't know. I don't know about Turing complete. Seems pretty badass though. Yeah, if we're talking about performance, I'm not sure how this stacks up in terms of performance. And performance is always a bit of a moving target anyway, right? Like all sorts of stuff is gonna change the performance of how things handle and often doing benchmarks here is like, I'm not sure whether you can trust a sort of type box versus yup versus whatever benchmark because it depends what features of the library you're using. It depends on the execution environment. I don't know really. Like this performance stuff, it doesn't really, yeah, it, it's, it just depends like massively on the, exactly. And performance is too contextual to be a firm metric. The syntax is really, really, really similar to Zod. And he literally says, my role models also include Connor McDonnell, which is a nice role model to have, a lovely, lovely dude who has a big influence on his API design with Zod. So this is something that's trying to compete with Zod. It's offering a very similar API to Zod. It's saying that its bundle size is much smaller than Zod. I haven't tested it out, but I'm sure it works similarly to Zod. I mean, it's an extremely cool thing. I'm like really glad it exists. And I think that having competition in this space is really, really important. And undercutting Zod on bundle size, I think is a smart thing to do. I would say though, I bloody love that on with Zod, you get like the Z dot object, Z dot this. The chaining and the builder pattern is just really beautiful to use because you can just auto complete your way to the right type and you get to explore the API a lot better. Whereas with Valibot, you might be kind of importing the wrong things or tr you might actually get a bit more friction there when you're using it. So I'm really keen to see what the DX is like from that sort of perspective too. Yeah, would I use it? I mean, this is to be determined Absolutely.